This app in the App Store is making $8 million every month, and I copied this app without writing a single line of code. And with only one AI tool that I'm about to show you, we will build the entire app together in this video. And let me tell you this, this isn't just any video, because besides showing you how to build the app, I'm also going to show you how to connect it to a database, how to create user authentication, and of course, even how to connect it to Stripe so you can start making money right away. Now, the first step is telling Lovable, the app that we'll be using today, exactly what we want. So we'll prompt with, create a full featured period tracking app with a modern UI design. The app should include period and fertility tracking, symptom tracking, pregnancy mode, and health insights and education. And within seconds, the lovable AI generates a fully designed app and it's called Harmony. So to improve navigation for our users, let's go ahead and tell Lovable, users should be able to navigate between different sections, period and fertility tracking, symptom tracking, pregnancy mode, and health insights and education. As you can see, Lovable reorganizes everything for us into four clear sections. Now we notice an extra navigation bar at the top with tabs labeled calendar, insights, learn, and profile. I want to clean that up and to do that, I'll simply type remove the first navigation, calendar, insights, learn, and profile. For the user authentication, all we have to do is tell Lovable with this prompt, this app supports account creation, data storage, and secure authentication. Start by building a functional user interface and a database setup before adding individual features. Doing this prepares our app to connect with Supabase for backend storage. And setting up Supabase is simple too. We click on Supabase, we'll sign in, we'll grant lovable permissions, and then create a new project, name it, enter a database password, and click Create. And to link it to our app, we'll ask Lovable, connect the sign up login page with the back end of Supabase. Provide me with the site and redirect URLs. And we'll go ahead and copy the URL Lovable provides into Supabase's authentication section under URL configuration. And then all we have to do is click save. In testing, we notice Supabase requires email confirmation. Now, to fix this in our app, it's easy. All we have to do is go over to the Supabase dashboard. We'll click on authentication. We'll scroll over to sign in and sign up settings. And then under the email section, we're going to go ahead and toggle off the confirm email option. To create the period tracking feature in our app, we'll simply tell Lovable in the period section, create a user-friendly period tracking interface where users can log their period start and end dates. And if we encounter any errors, it's okay, because all we have to do is click the try to fix it button. When we preview the period section, we can now see a log period button. So our users can click the button to log your first period to select their start and end dates with information reflected in the insights tab. Now for AI powered predictions, we ask Lovable, predict future cycles and ovulation based on past data. For symptom tracking, we ask Lovable for the symptom tracking feature, allow our users to log their daily mood, their physical symptoms like cramps, headaches, bloating, etc., and also their sleep patterns. And to visualize all of this data, we'll also tell Lovable, display the symptom tracking in an interactive chart or graph to visualize changes over time. Now this makes symptom patterns easier to see at a glance. And for the pregnancy mode, we ask Lovable, for the pregnancy mode section, implement a fertility tracking mode that predicts ovulation and the most fertile days. We can also add, Create a feature in pregnancy mode that tracks fetal development by weeks and also provides educational content based on trimester progress. Now our users can access both fertility predictions and fetal development insights. Pretty cool. For those health insights, we can also tell Lovable for the health insights section, add a health insights system that analyzes our users' menstrual cycle data and offers health recommendations if irregular patterns are detected. 
We can also add educational content by prompting. In this section, generate educational articles and videos on reproductive health displayed based on the user cycle phase. Doing this creates an additional resources section with content tailored to our user's cycle phase. Now over in Stripe, we can enable test mode and then copy the secret key and the publishable key from Stripe's developer tab and then paste that into Lovable. We can create a subscription product in Stripe's product catalog, entering a name, the description of the product, price, in our case $9.99 a year, and a billing period. We copy the price ID and then paste that into Lovable. Now for webhooks, we will tell Lovable, I want to add a Stripe webhook secret key. After that, we get the signing secret from Stripe's webhook dashboard and we'll also paste that into Lovable. Finally, we improve the design of our app by telling Lovable, change the design and layout into a more modern UI design. And then the app gets a pretty sleek update that adapts perfectly to different screen sizes. All right, so far so good. And if you wanna see a more detailed tutorial, check out the link in the description below where I show you from the first step to the last step, how to build a period tracker app in full detail. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you at the next one.